When looking for the best Linux laptop, don't settle for a model that merely gets the job done. Instead, you need the real thing with all the features and support for Linux. Sure, there aren't many big name manufacturers making Linux machines apart from Dell and Lenovo. But if the specifications are right, you can install any Linux distro on a Windows rig. For novices, however, the process of installing Linux can be cumbersome. Thankfully, some lesser known manufacturers make amazing Linux machines. These machines come with a pre-built Linux distro, so you don't have to sift through the specs and driver support to get the things working. Moreover, some of them offer the same premium design and durability you have come to expect from Windows machines. We have listed the top 5 laptops for Linux and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, guidinggear.com. Number 5. Juno Neptune 15 inch When most people think of a gaming laptop, the first thing that comes to mind probably isn't one with a Linux OS. Over the past few years especially, gaming has become more accessible to computers with Linux operating systems. Multiple games through Steam are available to download directly for a Linux OS. The Neptune laptop from Juno is an awesome option for anyone looking to mainly game on their new Linux laptop. It's a bit more expensive, but it comes with a quality CPU and GPU. You'll get an Intel 8-core i7 CPU and three different options when it comes to your GPU, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060, 2070, or 2080. Then you'll be able to customize your memory, starting at 16GB of DDR4, and the size of your M.2 NVMe SSD, starting at 512GB. You can add an optional SSD as well if you feel you need more storage. The default build for Juno's Neptune laptop comes with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060, 16GB of DDR4 RAM, and a 512GB SSD. And everything is powered by an Ubuntu 20.04 OS. Number 4. System76 Oryx Pro Laptop one of the best Linux laptops to date, the Oryx Pro is definitely built for the operating system. Indeed, it currently offers a choice of either Ubuntu 18.04 or System76 own Ubuntu-based Pop! OS on purchase. The Oryx Pro is made from lightweight aluminum with a matte black finish and is available in two screen sizes, either 16.1 or 17.3 inch. It's powered by a 9th gen Intel Core i7-9750H, which offers 2.6 to 4.5 GHz as well as a 12 MB cache. And for RAM, you can choose up to 64 GB dual-channel DDR4 at 2667 MHz or up to 32 GB dual-channel DDR4 at 3000 MHz. For storage, there are two SATA hard drives offering 8TB altogether and graphics options including NVIDIA GeForce RDX 2060, 2070, or the 2080. The Oryx Pro is sleeker and lighter than the several featured above, coming in at 4.6 pounds for the 16.1 inch screen version and 5.51 pounds with the 17.3 inch screen option. Again, as like the Serval though, this is an expensive machine with a base price starting from $699. Number 3. Acer Chromebook Spin 713 Linux laptops are a niche product compared to the standard PC laptops, so generally you see them in a more premium price range. You won't find Linux laptops in the $200 to $500 range alongside inexpensive Windows laptops or will you? If you're looking to save some cash while getting a Linux system, take a look at Chromebooks. Google's Chrome OS operating system is based on Linux and uses a Linux kernel. All Chromebooks can run Linux distros. You can get any modern Chromebook and run Linux apps on it in a few clicks. Everything from Linux terminal applications to graphical Linux desktop applications will work. You can run Android apps along your Linux programs too. But if you prefer having a full Linux environment, you can put your Chromebook into developer mode and install a complete Linux environment that replaces Chrome OS. For example, Canonical offers instructions for installing Ubuntu on a Chromebook. However, for maximum compatibility and simplicity, we recommend using the Linux app support built into the Chrome OS. Hardware manufacturers don't officially support a full Linux environment on a Chromebook like they do on the other laptops you recommend. As for the specific Chromebook to buy for running Linux, we're recommending the Acer Chromebook Spin 713, our favorite Chromebook in general. Although it's in the premium price range for a Chromebook, it's definitely in the budget range for a Linux laptop. The Spin 713 is an excellent piece of hardware at half the price of the Dell XPS 13 Developer Edition you'll have a great experience running Linux software alongside Chrome OS given the specs. The hardware is excellent, with modern 11th generation Intel Core processors, a minimum of 256GB of internal storage, a 3x2 aspect ratio screen at 2256x1504 resolution for even more vertical space, and more. Number 2. ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 9 with Linux Lenovo has its premium ThinkPad line and the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 9 is available to purchase with Linux pre-installed. 
You can get this ThinkPad model with either Ubuntu or Fedora out of the box, or install other Linux distributions if another OS is more to your speed. This is also our favorite laptop for business, and for good reason. Thanks to the use of lightweight carbon fiber, it's even lighter than the already lightweight Dell XPS 13 while having a more solid build quality. Lenovo proudly advertises that ThinkPads are tested against military-grade requirements so that they will run in extreme condition, and the manufacturer tests run the gamut from mechanical shock and humidity to sand, dust, and fungus. Of course, you also get the classic red track point nub for controlling your cursor from the keyboard and the familiar ThinkPad aesthetic. If you're a fan of the nub and the clean black look, this laptop is for you. But also, like the Dell XPS 13, this is the thin and light system that only comes with Intel integrated graphics. If you want a laptop with more powerful discrete graphics for gaming or GPU computing workloads, you can customize the ThinkPad to do so, but it'll cost extra. Or you can just pick up a Linux laptop made for gaming instead. Like the XPS 13, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon is a customizable laptop on Lenovo's site. You can choose whether you want a touchscreen or greater than 4K resolution, and customize the CPU, RAM, and storage the system comes with. Number 1. Dell XPS 13 7390 The XPS 13 may no longer be the undisputed champion of the Ultrabook market, but it's still one of the best Ultrabooks out there. And one can only admire Dell for its unwavering Linux support for flagship machine, making Dell XPS 13 7390 one of the best Linux laptops on offer. The laptop has a number of customizations you can opt for, but as with all the Dell products these days, the number of configurable options is quite limited. The basic model comes with 8GB of LPDDR3 RAM at 2133MHz, though this can be upgraded to 16GB RAM for an extra $100. There are also two main hard drive options, both solid state, offering a capacity of either 256GB or 512GB of storage. There are also two screen options. The more expensive is the 4K Infinity Edge touchscreen. Though, it's worth bearing in mind that the higher res screen will tax the GPU and CPU more and may affect the battery life adversely. The more wallet-friendly configuration runs with a full HD 13.3-inch Infinity non-touch display. Although, the Dell website offers three different style options for the XPS 13 when it comes to Windows. For the Ubuntu edition, there's only the single style option for the Platinum Silver with the Black Carbon Fiber Palm Rest, which, to be fair, is probably the most stylish option. Conclusion Choosing a good Linux laptop will allow you to run programs more easily as well as do things more convenient. All of the laptops on this list will work with at least one Linux distro so you won't have to trouble yourself in knowing whether they're Linux compatible or not. Choosing the best Linux laptop might seem intimidating at first, but all you really need to look out for is compatibility as well as your preferences. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.